So, 45 minutes done. Did four hours 15 here, and um, being Sweden, there's some recycling bins. I managed to get all of my recycling into the relevant bins, so I'm a happy chappy. Oh no, I haven't, I've forgotten. I, I got given a straw with a drink the other day without actually asking for it, and uh, I've still got it in the cab, so that can serve as a little reminder just to be wary. <laughs> So uh, it's about three and a half to four hours still left down to Oslo, plus the border, but the border will only be hopefully about 15 minutes or so. Um, it's the same customs agent stamps, both the export and the import, so it just depends how busy the border is. And it's about I think it's another hour or so, hour and a half to the border from here roughly. So uh, it's a beautiful drive, it's really, really nice. Uh, not so nice in the winter when it's damn cold and snowy and icy but this time of year it'll get better once we get back into the trees again it's a bit clear here at the moment so uh, I'll turn this off for now and I'll try and do a bit more as I get closer to the border so, <coughs> so just going past the town of Grums it's a big uh, I've just missed it back there there's a big um, sawmill Woodboard type place. Not entirely sure what what they do in there, but an awful lot of timber goes in. Uh, was wearing an overcoat, so it was partly covered up. Uh, but the but the the the. Cars now, but it's still 28 and a half degrees according to my truck. It's not too much further to the border from this town. If we, if we come from Stockholm, uh, when you first come down towards the town there's a big roundabout and there's a, there's a services on there with parking and that's generally where you stop on the way to Oslo because it's about four hours from Stockholm. Because we start from Kappelskar where the ferry comes in, we can't make it that far in, in our four and a half hours. a little bit more of this drive through here and I think miss the, miss the best of the lakes but they never seem to quite come out on camera when I try which is always a bit of a shame I've just been listening to an interesting podcast about cryptozoology uh, and although I wasn't thinking on men lines, just often think to myself, what, what's just living in these woods just here? And what can I get out and see? Because you, you can't beat nature. It's just absolutely amazing. And uh, he was saying that apparently they've just discovered that there's a new species of grass snake in the UK. And they thought there was only one, but there's two. So I'm going to have to look that up when I stop and see what that's all about. Goes to show that we don't know everything that's out there. Pardon me. So just now approaching uh, the Norwegian Swedish border. Uh, if you come in the other way out of Norway, about a kilometre or so behind me is the, the border post at Hahn, 
going into Norway, there's this big new compound that I want to climb this hill, I'll get into. And hopefully have a toilet. I'm sure they've got a toilet here because I'm busting for a wee. <laughs> so I've just got to wait for Kit, who's on my paperwork with me. He's just about 10 minutes behind or so. So uh, I can get in there and get in the queue. Once I've been to the toilet, that is, of course. So hopefully it won't be too long. Um, it's normally pretty quick here because it's the same same office. I think this chap's forgotten how to use his throttle pedal in front of me. He is driving a Scania, so uh, he can't help that, I guess. <laughs> Quite surprised there's no other trucks of ours in here. It's very, very empty as you'll see as I swing around. Four trucks. Right, let's go and get paperwork sorted. Right, all done. What was it? About 15 minutes. Including waiting for my compadre to get here, which is probably, well, pardon me, I made myself a coffee in that time, so uh, that's probably 10 minutes. So, uh, uh, just over an hour to go. They've been working on this road for ages down here, so it'll be interesting to see how much is done now. So this, this is the toll system, Green Cross. There we are, and a beep, perfect. Like. Sam did phone me up, hers, is, hers hasn't been working, She's for some reason she, her truck has still got an old style toll box, uh, which did work early this year but doesn't seem to be working now, so I'm not quite sure how she's got, she has texted me since and said it's all working, but I'm not sure what they've done to it, so uh, there you go, 90, 91k. Shame, it was a lovely drive from the border here, but we want we need to make get there as quick as we can to unload. So uh, time is of the essence. So uh, I'll turn this off for now. And I'll turn it back on in a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think we're on our final approach in. I was just trying to think how long it's been since I've been here, and it's been about. I think it's been 10 years. Uh, I certainly can't remember coming here since then. Um, I think mainly because uh, the, 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 new, uh, the new stadium has been built out of town. I think it's kind of been used a lot more than what this one is. So I'm not sure why we're doing this one. Anyway, that's irrelevant.
forward to an early night tonight. Might go for a walk later once I'm unloaded and done, but I don't know if I... It's not the nicest part of town here, I don't think. I don't think there's too much to see as such. But it'd be quite nice to just stretch your legs. Certainly shan't be going out for anything to eat or drink. Not in Oslo. Uh, I can't remember anything about this gig. Nothing at all. Don't recognise it. Can't picture. But I know I've done it.
so I'll just, in shorts and t-shirt, we're on the bike, aren't I? I personally would never ride without any gear on, but that's, um, sort of my, my take on it. I'm just going to try and have a look around about. Yeah, I mean, the way I sit on the bike is, I need my arms and legs to work, so I need to protect them at all costs, really, even when I'm out on the little bikes. I've still had protective trousers and whatnot. So that's the stage in front of us where we've just unloaded. That's taken what? 10 minutes to drive round? <laughs> what a palaver. Now I'm going to turn this off while I get parked up.